you join me from a seat from a very, very blue car. I am on city car driving and today I'm going to be road testing this car, which I do believe is based on a Toyota Vensis. But before we start, seat belt. Safety first. Right, let's back it up onto this road. Right. Let the tests begin. So this is a very nice smooth car. It's got the automatic transmission. This car is also available in manual as well. So is it fast? Not really. It's very, very slow, um, but it's very smooth. It's one of my most favorite cars to drive in this game, uh, purely because it's an automatic. Brakes, they are good. Um, I can show you that now. So I'm gonna put my foot down hard. There we go, revving the head out of it. I'm gonna slam on the brakes in three, two, one. Here we go. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Heading off again. So why would I recommend this car? Oh, as I keep saying. It's got a very smooth automatic transmission. It is very easy to drive, and it is, in my opinion, the safest car on the game because the drivers around here are very mental. The brakes are good. The acceleration, not so good, but it does the trick. Typical, never any traffic. When I want to do a road test, everyone decides that they want to go for a drive come on go go accelerate move we might be here a while he's indicating left but he's turning right see what i mean about the bad driving on here all right let's go This specific car has four gears being the automatic, but it is available in six gears as a manual. The manual is also very nice and smooth to drive, although I do find that if you put your foot down hard in first gear, you tend to rev out very, very fast and you find yourself in second gear very, very quick. So you need to be ready to respond to that. Just pulling out of the car as you do. Going around the corner. Looks like we're going to have to wait again. All I want to do is go onto a motorway to show you how this car handles at high speeds. But the people around me don't want that to happen. Come on! Go! Oh, you could have made that. You really could have made that. Come on, you can go now. Come on. I think he's doing it on purpose now, just to annoy me. Yes. No. He very nearly had it then. Very, very nearly. Drive. Yes, 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 yes. Undertaking, undertaking. Or was it overtaking? I don't know. I guess it's overtaking because of the game we're on. Come on. <sighs> now we are stuck behind a BMW, which is stuck behind some form of peasant mobile, doing 60 kilometers per hour whilst joining a motorway. We are now slowing down as we approach the motorway. What is going through the minds of these people? Do you know what? I just had a crash. 
and I'm now driving away. So here is a new test. Is this car good at getting away from people you've just crashed into? I can't see any my mirrors. Nearly hit a bus. Here we go, there's 129 kilometers an hour. 129, still 132, 3, 4, 5. Each went into the lane I was going through. 140. Weaving in and out of traffic at high speed, the car still handling very smoothly. Starting to bump about a little bit now, as you can see by the movement of my windscreen. Getting through the gaps, 156, 157. Oh, I had a crash. Driving away again. I'm stopping. 159, 160 kilometers an hour, there you go, it's 100 miles per hour. Took a very long time maybe half of the stretch of the motorway to get up to that sort of speed. We in and out between traffic. Because I am a terrible driver. Brake, brake, easy. Whoa, whoa, don't hit the Mercedes, drive. What? Only being a four speed automatic, this car does lack power and it lacks it badly. Go! Weaving in and out of the traffic. Because I am very dangerous. Cut in front of the Ford. Do it. Sharp right. So. Can it keep up with a van? Yes it can. But can it overtake a van? Let's find out. Overtaking, car coming towards me. Yes it can, but only if you want to die. Let's take it into a little housing estate with loads of... I've just... Yeah, I've just crashed into a road sign. Right, into reverse, into drive, and let's go. Nothing to see here, um, probably nobody around, definitely no cars being held up then, so absolutely no one saw me crash into that sign. We will go right here. Loads of cars for me to try not to hit as well as people's parents, old ladies walking on the streets. The people here park with absolutely no thought whatsoever, making it as hard as they can for people like me to get into their homes. There's a man. Hello. See, he walked past thinking, I want his car. Not mine, literally, because mine is a little bit smashed up, but he wants a car just like mine. Turning right. And my car seems to be flying. Someone has literally stolen my wheels. My car is deciding it wants to no longer be on the road on its wheels. It wants to stand up. My car is now doing a roll. I have literally done a full roll whilst flying in the air. I'm on my roof again. I think that this might be a good time to end before I end up killing myself or others. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe and let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>